going on everybody tiag bro here from drunk bros gaming coming at you live with a destiny video we're going to be showing you today uh, a noob's guide to the destiny raids today we're going to be going over crota's end i'm joined by my mate here silence virus um we are going silence virus uh elite hacksaw yolo swag lord 420 360 no scope virus uh and we're going to be going over crota's end destiny raid Salus, welcome. Hey, what, what is got? going on, guys? It's Salus Virus here, and we are, like Tiago said, gonna have a noob's guide of Crota Zen and new series. We might be doing uh, other raids as well. And even if you have done Crota Zen and you're not new to it, just hop in and you have a fun time. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of good moments, show a bunch of new tricks and stuff that maybe you didn't know that'll speed up Crota Zen for you. What are we gonna be showing, Salus? Tips and tricks, kicks and flips. Tips and tricks, kicks and flips. And we're gonna fly in in the moon, like so, and arrive at the Hellmouth. Hell yeah, good stuff. <coughs> so here we are at the Hellmouth. And you wanna slide on this little uh, circle plate here. And you wanna make sure you don't just jump off. Ogre ambitious. Ogre. <laughs> What's really cool about this area, though, is is like, if you, if you don't have the DLC, you can't really spawn in this little uh, this little platform or pillar that we're at. It's really cool. Um, you can you can actually see out out yonder ways is is the actual patrol area or, or the area with the rest of the moon um, uh, missions out there where it has you know kind of the moon vantage point. Um, and without the DLC, you can't really get to this area that you're at. You can, you can still see it from over there, um, but but with this area here and with the DLC, um, you know you can you can you can view and uh, build the bridge to to the Hellmouth. Here you can see we go down into the Hellmouth by uh, building that portal there. The bridge into the Hellmouth, ascent or descent, I should say. We should go. No, you want to be careful Tell getting down here because uh, if someone lands on you, they will kill you. So, be careful. not sure. But it, it's very true. <laughs> <laughs> and, All right. Uh. <laughs> and uh, the weapons of choice here are the Fatebringer and the Icebreaker, just because they do explosive bullets and can blow up uh, large crowds of thralls. And then the uh, class of type on this part is the Hunter because of its invisibility effects. Yep, <laughs> so your hunter class, um, if you have the uh, don't touch me gauntlets, that's that's really helpful as well. Um, those, it, it, pretty much every time you get meleeed, um, what happens is you are able to uh, cloak and go invisible as well, which is pretty neat. Um, and on your hunter class, the class items and class perks that you're gonna want is the stalker class, along with the shadow jack class. Uh, and escape artist that essentially once you melee an enemy, a thrall, whoever it is, um, that allots you to um, uh, uh, grant a temporary uh, time of visibility as well. Along with vanish, which is also really good when you have your super long period of invisibility. Now, along the left cool. side here, you can get there's a chest and the, it's a random room that spawns a chest, but it's just a couple shards and energy. And at this point, it's really not worth your time to go for unless you really need them. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're new to this raid, you know, and you you, you get some weapons and class items and things like that that you need, it's really great. It's cool, helpful. Um, for us in particular, it doesn't really matter. Um, the main thing that you're gonna want to bring with you uh, on this raid is gonna be heavy synth. Heavy ammo synth is crucial. <coughs> it's really gonna help out. Um, essentially, whenever you have a heavy synth, you pop it, and you get some rockets out. It's pretty cool. Um, if you, you do not, if you don't have an icebreaker, you also want to bring a lot of special synth as well. Yeah, special synth. Cool. Salus, you ready to get going? Yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Salus and I are going to be running through the lamps here. Um, this is area with with nothing but lamps. So the first two lamps here, um, essentially, you're going to just want to go through. 
just run straight through all the enemies. Hit these lamps as much as you can, stay with them as much as you can, but just run as soon as you get, um, you know, an open gap. Run to the third lamp, which is this guy right here. Turn around, start shooting them. You'll see the icebreaker come into hand, come into play here. They render with the uh, firefly effect as well. The icebreaker is a very and, good uh, weapon uh, to carry on this one, just because it has a perk that increases your movement speed, which lets you run a little faster in this. at the bottom right there, you'll see uh, this weight of darkness perk um, you know, kind of pop up. And what that is, is you'll see weight of dark darkness just, just pop up on my screen right there. Um, what that does is, is it, it kind of slows you down and uh, makes you from not, not really running very quickly, having the agility that you might be used to. Um, it, it can go up to times 10, and at times 10, you, there's really no sprint. And uh, no sprint you want to take a left here at this lamp rather than going normal because it's a large shortcut right here. And uh, you'll, you'll just see over here a light, and you want to make sure you go left here rather than the wrong way because then you'll end up and it'll be a mess. And watch out for the night. Go invisible and don't worry about them at all. That's an option. It's an option that you can choose to uh, to take as well. But by doing this, you skip quite a few lamps. A lot of people don't know about it. But yeah, as you can see, these "Don't Touch Me" is really come in handy here. Keep you alive a lot they longer. They really do. Ah, oh, those purple boxes, soundless. I want them. <laughs> Won't need them too much. There's a bunch of them back there. It's true. You see the vaporing ice bringer right here. Ice breaker, ice vaporing. There you bringer. go. Ice uh, <laughs> yeah, ice bringer. That's the combo reason. We made the name. It really is. It really is. All right. From here, you're gonna to want to go up the uh, cliffside here, and there's there's some tricky holes here, and 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 most folks uh, actually drop down into the holes. Um, but you want to make sure that you don't uh, don't do that because obviously you will die. Um, but that's the trick there. Um, a lot of folks don't really know where to go once you hit that point. You want to just go up the hill like we just did there. From here, don't worry about going to that lamp that you can see there. Uh, just hit the left, go straight to this one. You want to make sure and activate that lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make sure you activate this lamp so it can start, uh, it can trigger to where it blows up in the time being. I'm going to hit this platform over here. As Alan said, right here, hit the platform. You want to jump up on this rock, get as far away from the lamp as you can. The lamp will kill you. That rock is down. There you go. Bring back on the rock. Watch out for the ogre over here. Once you kill this guy, you're all good. And sometimes there's two ogres like that. No big deal. Take him out. It's good. Then you're good. Nothing can touch you up on this rock. The bridge will form over there. Don't just touch like the original bit. The bridge. Touch me up on this rock. And you can, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Sing and dance, doesn't really matter. <coughs> it's all there for you. But essentially, you'll build a bridge from that platform. You can see the bridge is currently being built. Uh, for some reason, you'll have to stand on it consistently as you go through. So it's pretty cool. Right about here, the big bridge is done, you'll hear the music activate, and you're free to run across, and enemies do spawn on the bridge, you want to be careful of them, it's just a couple thralls though, nothing to be too worried about, and you just keep running towards the light, don't worry too much about the enemies behind you, they can't really catch up, and, and right, and, and up, uh, after you pass the light, 
you'll get to the next zone. And if you're going for the flawless raider achievement where no one in your fire team can die, don't panic too much when it tells you guardian down. It's just a little glitch in the system that does that. There it is. Guardian down. There you go, you hear it? Guardian down. But that actually doesn't count towards the achievement. So you do not have to restart there. Just keep going, you'll get it. Now for this, this part... This next part... Good. It is tricky. Tricky. Um, we are going to actually do a little... Um, well, we're going to walk you through how to do it verbally. Um, and then we are going to do... A trick since we only have two of us doing this this part here. Um, so <clears throat> this this next part, you'll see a uh, a little <coughs> um, pillar here in the middle here, or a little platform. Um, and just just like we activated the uh, last bridge at the very beginning, and then the bridge in the little thrall room, there's a bridge here that activates as well. Um, by standing on that platform there, that bridge will activate. There's these two little pillars um, on on either side of it as well. And those two little pillars need to be need to have someone under there while this bridge is being activated. So you need at least three people: one person in the middle, um, and the other two people on either side. Uh, as you can see, we um, we run into a slight uh, mishap because there's only two of us, so <laughs> there's really no way to activate it like this. So uh, we're going to show you a little trick. Uh, I'm going to switch to my warlock class, and I will be right back. Soundless. He's going to uh, maintain and stay here. Take it over. He's gonna leave, switch to his warlock, do a little trick when he gets back. And it is very simple. He's just go going to get on his warlock, and it's a little little trick where we start this up, sit up, get on the platform, and it's very critical you don't stay on that platform because you stay on it too long and no one else is on the other totems, that's what those are called, uh, then it kills everybody, and you don't want that. So when you have a warlock, you want to make sure he can sell for us, that he's on the Sun Singer class, and you just want to get on that platform, get off, make sure all the enemies are spawned over here, and then you're going to kill kill yourselves, so everyone over the, on this side is going to... Sorry about that. Same kind of... Uh... Just into them. Strategy that I have here with my warlock, though I, I have the icebreaker. Um, on this situation, though, I, I'm not going to be using the icebreaker. I'm going to be running the Galahorn and a vision. And like what I was saying to them, uh, we get on the platform there in the middle and step off it. Make sure you don't stay on it. And then we're going to kill ourselves. And then you're going to sell for us at the very last second at when it's counting down, like five, four, three, two, one. Guardian down. It's you want to do it like r right at one or after one, barely, and then all the enemies will yeah, despawn and, and go to that side. And uh, of course, we'll demonstrate. And I'll, I'll show you when to when to self res here as well. Um, it is it's a little tricky. It's a, it is a little tricky, um, and you have to be uh, you have to have some pretty good timing for it. But I'll I'll show you and it'll despawn the enemies. Pretty cool little view there that you got of the uh, the oversoul. As well, it's pretty neat. But uh, this this is a little glitch you're doing here. If you are going for the flawless achievement, you won't be able to do this because you'll be killing yourself here. Yep. Um, well, I need to build up my super, so we're just gonna activate the enemies here and step right off of the platform. The controller will start to vibrate whenever you, uh, the platform's activated. You see many many thrall thralls uh, show up here. So there's gonna be thralls everywhere. There's going to be some acolytes that show up a little bit later as well. And additional to that, there's going to be... No, additional to that, there's going to be a guy called the Sword Bearer. And you might have noticed... Oh, there he is, Sword Bearer. You, you might have noticed the little fire and such uh, being built right next to the bridge. If you get, if you get close to that fire, I'll show you what it says. See, it says, uh, I can read it. Something about, something about the sword bear. I don't, I don't know exactly what the exact verbatim is. But something about the, the sword bear. You can't, you can't walk across that bridge unless you are holding and carrying that sword, which is really interesting. Um, 
That being said, even if you do build a bridge, you have to be in possession of the sword to get to the other side. Uh, that's what the tricky part is about this, about this bit is. Um, this is why no one does this the legitimate way, which is exactly what we're going to show you, the not legitimate way. We may be cheating, but it's a lot easier. Oh, no, no, no. It's, not, it's not cheating at all. It is simply taking advantage of the game, which is another word for cheating. Okay, I have my super. It is time to do the wipe business. So we're going to wipe here. A little guardian down. No, it's we'll count down the timer here. here. And we will want to self res right about now. You'll see I self res, all the thralls despawn, all the enemies despawn, except for the sword bearer. Bring the sound wires up here first. Are you going to bring the sword across with uh, your one method, Tiago? I'm going to, yep. So the method that I have is uh, uh, I want to get him to this side over here, the, the left side, um, you'll see there's these little, well, I'll show you here real quick, you'll see there's these little platforms here, you can get platformer, platform jump over, it's pretty cool, um, I have minimal agility for this, uh, you can do it with more, I'll put some more on just to kind of show you guys, uh, but the, the biggest thing about it is you'll want to put the Nice jump, which I use focus burst. So. Alright, let us take him out. Do you want to take out the sword bear? Go ahead and grab the sword. Jump up to one of these, uh, I'm really noobing it up here on the noobs guide. Jump up to one of these platforms here. And the trick is to fly the sword across. To the other side. Once you get to the other side, you'll want to just simply hide. Really good spot to do is where he's at behind that lamp right there. Nothing can spot him. Mm -hmm. And then I just and go on this side with the icebreaker and I just kill enemies until two ogres spawn. And then once you kill the two ogres, the bridge forms and you're done with this section. Yep, Silence wants to get on, on higher ground here. Um, You'll see I'm in first person mode, so it's a little bit difficult to see around. You can usually do a little dance, and it helps you get into third person mode and kind of view your surrounding area as well. Um, Salas is over there with his icebreaker roo. Again, you don't need the icebreaker for this, any sniper will do. But it's just much easier with the so icebreaker. Much... Yep, and you have infinite ammo with the icebreaker as well. <laughs> so that definitely helps. You have a scout rifle too, that, that also... As decent as your primary for this. And the icebreaker's cooling down, regening. Yeah, there's a couple spots I'll show in a bit when the ogre spawn of how you can get easy shots on the ogre. People ha have a lot of trouble with the left ogre from over here. From ogre here? From ogre here. see a couple wizards spawn as well. Uh, that's your cue to know that the majority of the, this, this section of everything is almost over, so... Well, almost ogre, excuse me. There goes the curse thrall off the map, because he didn't want to live anymore. That's right. And when the wizards do spawn though, you don't have to kill them. It's not necessary. Here comes the ogres now. For the right ogre. You're gonna get as far left as you can. That's it moves that way. You need this one. Uh, uh, uh. And you can see the two ogres on my 
my screen here and kind of where they're positioned at. Um, you have one on the right, one on the left, of course. There's the first dugger, and now the second one is right there. And I find that this spot right here in the middle is really good for getting a shot on them. Tell a lot of people to go here. It's these two right here, but a lot of people refuse to listen. And he's dead, and that's it. And it's all over. You would normally get a reward at this part, but I've already done it on this character, so that's why I'm not getting rewards. And then the bridge will uh, spawn. You'll see the little uh, fire glow as well is gone. So you don't need the sword to carry it around and cross right here as well. So. Now, on this next part, as many times as people tell you or make you believe that there's a time-based thing on here, they are lying to you. What it is is lies. With the the door after this, with the chest you're trying to get to, it starts closing once you kill the second shrieker. So you can enter this whenever but you just gotta keep running after that second shrieker because that's when the door is starting to close so you, for this part right here it's just a it's pretty much a if you ever if you ever played a middle school high school peewee league football it's pretty much a gauntlet uh you'd want to just run your little heart out past all these little thralls there are two little shriekers there as well Alice has made it into the room, and there is a chest in there. If you don't make it in the room, or none of your uh, teammates make it in the room, that's it, you don't get that chest. Um, however, Silence made it. Since he's in it, there has to be a way back out so the door opens up for the rest of the team as well. So just get the loot. Of course, we don't get the loot because we've already got it this week. But this door, or this chest right here, contains shards of energy. So nothing too shards major. Shards of energy. Next part is going to be called the Death Singer. You uh, jump down uh, to this gaping hole here, and um, we begin. So there's there's two sides, and this is actually the final boss room as well. But there's two sides. There's a right side and a left side. Uh, um, Silence, which side do you uh, go to? I can take right. Silence wants to go to the right. Okay, so Silence is going to go to the right. I'm going to go to the left. So as we go out here, um, there's like a, what it looks like is a little as a little uh, sniper post. Run right past these uh, two I mean, knights here. Once you enter this room right here, uh, you have the timer starts, so you gotta hurry. And if you don't make it in that timer, the Death Singer starts to sing your song, which kills you. Yes. She'll start playing her eulogy there. So, so, so you have to bait. You have to bait a wizard out. So you run into this little room here and, and run back out. Um, and up into your little sniper cove, you'll see this wizard spawn. Just draw her out like so, and then come back up here, and you can easily kill her like that. Then you gotta go back inside to kill the Shriku, which you can only kill after the wizard is dead. Which, if you have a Galahorn, it's just one shot. Other rockets, it might be two. It's not a big deal to kill, and you just wanna get out of here so that Shriku blast doesn't get you. And then. After both shot one shakers of both sides, the walls come down, and you're able to kill the death singer. So you want to come to my side because it's a lot easier to get into her because there's a lot more enemies over there. And there's two ways of doing this. You can either kill everyone, a lot of these enemies on this side, but it's probably the easiest way. It takes a little time, but we're pretty good on time, so we're gonna do that. After you kill the majority of the enemies, you can just come in here and start getting shots on her. But you want to be careful because they're all do spawn behind you in this part. So you want to keep out of an eye for that. See her there in the middle. Yeah, the 
I'll have one person look out on this. Kill that cutscene. Dead there. There she goes. There she goes. You're good, and you wanna? You wanna just bail run out? Run out of here real quick. Yep, as fast as you can, as fast as you possibly can. Where in this case, we killed most people on this side, so you can kind of just stay in here, and then you just gotta kill off the rest of the enemies. Yep, you see him right over there. And you don't have to kill all the enemies, you just have to kill uh, a majority of them. Continue to spawn knights in here. You know, try not. You don't have to kill more. So they don't really add to the knights that are still alive. Where is my friend? Sword Knights, um, the Shredder Knights. Oh, that was it, I guess. Okay, there we go. Normally a reward will You can wipe... Up. Yeah, you normally, once you complete this part, you'll get a reward. Um, so this this part here, you can you can finish off killing the rest of the uh, the Knights, or you can just, um, you can just um, wipe. Um, and by doing so, we'll despawn all the Knights. It's usually what we do here, so... There's like about 18 oh, more Knights left. Down. So we just give it a little wipe here. And we will respawn at the end of the Crota Raid. Alright, now we're just going to spawn in, and we'll go over quickly what we're going to do and on this last part, because a lot of people do this differently, and there are a couple tricky areas in this. And what's going to happen is, uh, we're going to, when we, we're going to spawn in by this crystal, and when we... But staying on it, it's going to build walls all around us, and uh, we're not going to be able to heal at all, and there's going to be a thing in the middle called the chalice, which you can just go up and hold X, and one person will get it, and you can take turns getting, passing it back and forth to heal. There's also other methods of healing, like the red death or helmets, that when you pick up an orb, you also heal health, but we're going to we're gonna go in this room, and then at, after like 15 seconds, the walls right here are going to come down, and we're going to kill all the enemies in here. And then we're going to exit to the left here, and then we're going to come around, and then there's going to be glass here, and we're going to come around here, comes to this other side of the glass, and stand right there. And then the sword bearer is going to come out right here, Crota's going to be right there. We're going to kill the sword bearer, and a lot of people think you can only go to the right side, but you can, I, I, I don't really think so, you can go to the left or right. And then there's going to be boomers or knights with big guns right there and there. And if you follow the routes I take, you, you won't really have to worry about that. Now, at this point, uh, if you want to watch the, the ledge point of view, go watch out Tiagbro at Drunk Bros. Or if you want to watch the Sword Bear's view, uh, watch me at Soundless Virus. And let's get into it. Yep. Alright, let's get into it. Let's do it. Great explanation, Soundless. Do the thing. Salas likes to actually do uh, his own um, hunter dance over here. What he does is <laughs> he goes on the blade dancer and starts doing the, uh, the arc bolt. Or arc blade, I should say, excuse me. And uh, killing enemies that way, he generates orbs of light. And on hard mode, it's a little bit different. Um, on hard mode, what, what happens is uh, you really have no chalice whatsoever, so the only way to regen orbs our region health is to gain orbs of light. So these these two knights that pop up on either side of you, they're going to be yellow knights. And if you kill a yellow knight while you're in super mode, you get uh, you get quite a bit of orbs of light, uh, which is really nice. And now uh, you just want to have your whole team pile up here on the left. 
make sure everyone's ready, and the this rage timer starts immediately, so you want to try and get out of the room as fast as you can, but the enemies don't spawn until you leave that room. And the sword bearer comes out here, he always picks the random side. Come over to this rock over here. Go into this bowl. And then tell Tiago to shoot. Let's get those down. You want to make sure you only get three, you don't get over here. Don't shoot again. Get out of there, come in the stream over here. There's this room on both sides. We got one of these stools right here. Go this there's room. houses out there. Now, I like to come and out look. here and grab the chalice. And there we go. So grab the chalice there while he's cloaked and run back there. And if you're if you're not on the sword bearer side, you're just uh, shooting the rockets at Crota there. Um, what you're gonna want to do is from that middle platform, just kind of sneak around at this side here. You can go all the way around if you'd like to. Um, but the boomers, the, the, those those big boomer knights over there, they, they do hit hard. So um, you want to make sure you don't die. That that's that's probably the biggest key to this this part here is just do not die. If you die, there's this oversoul that comes out. Ogre soul, excuse me, that comes out, and uh, this where this little eye is right here. It's it's the ogre soul. Um, but over here, silence comes in the middle, kind of comes over to the middle and uh, he can he can kind of pass around the chalice as well so like right now my health isn't all the way maxed out so you can come over here <clears throat> pass me the chalice you'll see my health come back up and you always want to give the chalice right back to your uh, your sword bearer there just so he always has um, um, room to heal as well um, but pass that around your teammates uh, make sure everyone's healed up just in case but uh, moving back right now if the oversoul does pop up just have your entire team to shoot all your primary and secondary ammo rockets don't do as much as you can and then he'll be good after that. You wanna rinse and repeat? Kill the sword bear again. And then I'll show that you can go on either side, not just the right side. <laughs> yeah, just Without in case that you, synth, I don't know. Yep. Just in case you do screw up once or twice, you'll have extra heavy ammo always. Because if one person's missing a couple of rockets, it could be pretty bad. But thanks guys for watching. Adios. Yep. Appreciate it guys. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been J real and fun. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening or night or day or wherever it is that you're at where you're watching. And I hope that was very informative. If you do have any questions, again, feel free to um, hit us up at Twitter, hit us up on Twitch, hit up us on, hit us up on uh, YouTube, wherever it is that you'd like on social media. We're always here to help out. So give us a holler, and uh, we'll be able to get it all taken care of for you. All right. Take it easy, guys. Later.